Yo, um, I don't know, man. This, this is my documentary. I'm making a documentary. My journey back into cosplay. It's been two and a half years since I even touched cosplay. And I started kind of getting into it last night and like actually thinking about what I was going to do and how to do it. And, and I was like, bruh, I'm fucking washed. Like, <laughs> I'm washed. It's not even funny how washed I currently am. So last night I watched The Suicide Squad again and I was like, I wanted to cosplay her red dress so bad when the trailers were first coming out. Um, so then I went and I remembered that I have this public Google Drive, um, which I'll link below because it is a resource that I think people should have access to. Some of the reference photos that are in it are of the Suicide Squad from just like the trailers and the set leaks and stuff. And so I went to look at it and I was like, hmm, I actually already have some really good photos here. So then I went looking for more reference photos and I found a bunch and I found these ones that are from, um, an exhibit. This dress was there and there's all these like really good pictures of the dress and so I put those into Procreate on my iPad and I sketched out a flat of what I think the dress looks like and then I was like hmm this fabric does not look like it's fun to, to find so I went on Instagram and I went okay I know of two cosplayers that one of them might have made their dress and one of them I know didn't make her dress. So I looked at the one who I thought made her dress, she didn't. So then I went and I hunted down where they both got their dresses from and one of them was done by Costume Kens. I went to her YouTube channel and I looked at her tutorial video on how to make the dress, specifically hoping to find links for fabric. and. She did not provide those, which is fine. They were really old anyways. Um, but then she like she showed what fabric she used and I, I was like, okay, that's exactly how I thought it was or what I thought it was gonna be. And so I then had to rack my brain for the websites that I used to use. One of them had the sequins that I need and the other had nothing. It was, it, it had nothing. So then I just went down like a good old like Google search trying to find the red tool and basically the only place that I could find it that had like good like accordion pleated red tool or mesh or organs or whatever was Etsy and Etsy is notoriously overcharged. After I couldn't find it anywhere but Etsy I was like okay well I should figure out my other websites that I used. I went through my free Google Drive resource that everyone should use because I have all of my old sourcing sheets with all the old websites that I used to use back in the day when I was making like crazy costumes. And I was able to like trace back all of the places that I used to order stuff from. But then I was like, okay, well, I guess I could do like a little bit more searching or I could just go with Etsy. Like, I don't know, man. But that was where I got to last night. I got sketch done. Look at me go! I'm doing it, Mom! I got a sketch done and I found one fabric and I watched a video on how to do it. So my current goal is to finish cleaning the space. Um, I probably should like go do that today. I should like change out of this white top and go do that because like that was my initial plan for the day. Um, and then I streamed and then we'll, we'll check back in. Sound good? Okay. Welcome to my garage. Okay, let's freaking do this. Don't look at my socks. I know they're weird. Okay, so like the table is mostly okay. 
it's like the little stuff where if like there's like a mouse and a cube tap you know um and patterns that i don't even know what they are anymore but then like these bags are just full of nonsense and it's like like sewing notions and stuff like this one's like sandpaper and um leather dye tabs and then there's like all different sides of rulers and papers and stuff that i just don't know where to put right now um and then my next big issue is underneath the table like i don't even know what's in that box <laughs> probably fabric but i don't know and then i have these three like bins full of other stuff like paint and dye and notions and like all sorts of junk and i need to figure out a way to get like the sawhorses sat properly so that i can have access to the bins but then they also support the table to the point that i can like get on the table to get to the um to that wall basically um because that's always how i've had my area set up is basically to the point that i can like have my full weight on the table as i'm reaching all the way across it so yeah that's like where i'm at the rest of it is sorted beautifully on those shelves over there like i mean beautifully it's just this shit that i have to figure out yeah hi editor here um I, my camera doesn't quite capture the pure panic um but it was in this moment that I realized my fingers had been inches from a very big Black Widow spider for um, the last couple minutes. Welcome to the new camera angle. I had to go get my different tripod because this shit, I don't know why I was just suffering with that. Anyways, we're doing the drawers. Let's, let's just get into it, let's just go. Okay, don't look at how sweaty I am, but I was, I took a call uh, from my mom, so that's why I wasn't working on camera. But I finished up a majority of the drawers. Like some of them are literally just nonsense and they're not gonna become a nonsense because there's just literally nowhere else to put the stuff that's in those drawers. Like the one that's like, there's like a sleeping mask and like a sewing machine cover in one and then just like a bunch of pens. Like I have so many pens, it's not even funny. But so like, that's pretty much as, as good as it's gonna get. And then I just have like some last little like things that some of it's gonna go in my car. Um, some of it's like, like pattern paper and I gotta figure out how to run the cords and like that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, pretty much the rest of it's done. I need to set up my dress form still. Um, I was going to and then my mom was like, well, why would you do that outside? And I was like, well, it's gonna be outside. And she was like, well, it's gonna get all dirty out there. And I was like, it's gonna get dirty either way. I think um, I might try to find my patterns and like pattern paper and stuff. The good news is this is a whole roll of muslin. Like I thought I was completely out of muslin, but this is gonna be a game changer for like the pattern and stuff. I know it's like a circle skirt, but then like getting the bodice right is gonna be the biggest challenge for me just because I haven't done anything like this in two and a half years. So, but um, yeah, this is my documentary. It's not a tutorial, it's a documentary. I stole that line, but this is where we're at. Okay, okay, good talk. Okay, so good morning, first of all. Um, yeah, it's like 9 a.m. <laughs> but um, here's the situation. So I found my slopers which if you don't know the term, basically like a base to make a pattern. So I found all of those, which is very helpful um, because that's how you make a pattern for the most part, unless you're a cheater like me. And then I also found my pattern making textbook, which is gonna be so helpful because I am making a circle skirt and I don't wanna have to do the math. But the best part about this is that there is a whole section just for circle skirts and it has this chart hi me again yeah so um the chart wasn't that helpful for me i spent 
four hours trying to figure out the math for that circle skirt, but here it is anyways, enjoy. Um, hopefully you can figure it out better than I could. That basically tells you like, oh, I want to make um, like a three quarter circle skirt that is, in the end, it'll be 25 inches long. I'm literally an idiot. That's not what that means. So then my um, radius is gonna be five and a quarter inches. So like, I don't have to do any math. I think I redid the math for this skirt like a hundred times and then I still got it wrong. And this is gonna do it all for me. So that's fantastic. Um, this will also give me like a nice kind of reminder of what I'm doing, like, if I feel like I need to, like, like, look, here's a section on gathering, you know, like that, and I guarantee you, like, I was trying to rack my brain about how to do the ruffles on her sleeves last night, and I was like, bruh, I don't know, but I guarantee you there's a section in here about, like, ruffles. Oh my god, and there's a DVD, like, it's all good in here. It, in fact, did not end up being all good in here. Yeah, but so I found this, which is going to be super helpful. I'm very excited to have that. But then the best part is, I know for a fact that that is not all of my patterns. I don't know where the rest of my patterns are, but I am like a notorious pattern hoarder. I can't get rid of them. Um, however, I did find this, which is a binder full of patterns. They're all like in these individual oh my God, little like sleeves. And they're all sorted by character. And so it's like, Suicide Squad, Club Dress. Like, I have so many patterns in here. And the best part is, is that I can just take a pattern that I think looks close, and I can just copy it, basically. We're gonna go on a pattern journey. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at my slippers. I ended up with like four hours, if not more, of patterning footage, and it's not all gonna go in this video because then this video would be probably like two hours long. So I'm gonna make a separate video that's longer with all of that footage. So basically what you're getting is a time lapse of a majority of the patterning with voiceover. Enjoy. Okay, well how do I wanna make this pattern? Okay, so we're focused on the top. So here's the seams that I could do is I could either do a princess seam like this, which then wraps around, or I could just do a single dart on each side. The single dart would make this piece easier, but the princess seams will be easier to pattern, if that makes sense. Because here are my pattern options. So I can either do go off the basic pattern which then I'll have to like do all of this math and remember how to do all of this. Or I can use this princess seam one. So this one would be easier because all I have to do is basically figure out, okay, where is like the top? And I don't have to fit this at all because I know that this fits. Whereas this one, I would have to actually like tailor this and tailor the dart and then like, there's all this stuff that when you take, when it's top, when it's a, um, like a sweetheart neckline like that, you have to like take in increments from up here because you have the give for the sleeve and it's like, there's all this stuff that you have to figure out. Whereas like, that's pretty much all worked into this already. So I think what's gonna be easier for me just coming back is to do this instead of this um because it's less math it's less remembering like i have my textbook so that makes it easier does this look fun look there's a chart i don't i don't want to deal with this so we're going with this next is um my paper so i have probably like 20 of these unused because halfway through i switched to doing fully digital art um which was great in the long run because that's like basically what everyone else is doing but i have all this paper and basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a roll of tape if i can find one i don't remember where i put it um and i'm basically just gonna tape a few pieces together i mean like some of them um like at least like like uh the side pieces 
but I'm basically gonna take these and I'll just do them one at a time and I'll basically just put it in the middle and I'll go, okay, it only needs to go to the waist, so these are the waist notches, um, yada, 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 and then I'll, I'll get it all figured out. Add the seam allowance, um, put it on muslin, and then put, um, put it on the dress form and see what happens. Hello and welcome to Voice Over Brooke. So what I'm doing is just tracing out the sloper and then finding the center line so that we know which way it needs to go on the fabric. After that, I am marking the waist and just adding the seam allowance. I definitely added the seam allowance way too early, but I think I was just uh, nervous and just trying to do what I felt right. And then after that, I'm marking the notches into the seam allowance so that they're easier to see. I'm doing the same exact thing with the front, except I don't have to figure out which way on the fabric it goes because the center is a fold. I'm doing the same thing, adding the seam allowance and then marking the notches. You can see I forgot to mark one from the sloper. After that, I line them up at the notches in the armhole so that I can make the sweetheart neckline. I'm marking basically where I think it should meet in the V and then where I think the armhole should meet. Uh, I realized in just a second that it doesn't have to be straight on the armhole and that I can have it at an angle. I also mark how wide the strap is going to be on the side piece so that I know um, where to take it from there. Next I take a new piece of paper and I fold it in half so that I can have an open front piece and then get the wrapped design and neckline all figured out. So you saw me, I just put the new piece of paper that was folded in half over the original pattern that I drafted and then I'm just tracing the lines through it and then I'll go back in with my tracing wheel and go over it and this pokes little holes on both sides of the paper so that you get an exact match of what the pattern looks like and it's just easier to transfer and you're not like straining your eyes through the paper. Now I'm gonna line up our two front pieces on the princess seam where they meet, and then I'm marking exactly how long it is that they're even from so that it can give me an idea of how tall I can make our wrapped section without having to add a dart to it for fitting. And then I'm gonna line them up again and I'm gonna trace a very basic shape of where I want the wrapped piece, the wrapped seam to be. Now I'm going into my ruler and I'm adding in my seam allowances. I went for the general rule of thumb on seam allowances here. Sometimes they will differ depending on your project, but I went for half an inch on all my regular seams and then a quarter inch where I am attaching it to the lining. That just eliminates any bulk in areas that are gonna be finished seams where your lining attaches and it just makes it easier in the long run Then I don't have to trim any seam allowances that much. After that, I go in and I make sure that all of my notches are very pronounced and that they're all accounted for. With this, the front is done and I did the same with the back pieces. For the circle skirt, I spent about five hours doing the math and then I still ended up getting it wrong, but basically I followed the chart in the textbook and then I created this makeshift compass out of the um, number that it gave me. There I mark out where my seams are gonna be for one half of, or one quarter of the skirt and then I use the makeshift compass to draw the cut line. From there, I'm drawing in what is gonna be my sew line, just so that I know for sure which one it is. And then I mark the fold side, cut off the excess, and then I demonstrate how I'm gonna mark the hem. Me again for the last time today. So I intended for this to be one long video and for it to not be an hour, I'm gonna cut it in half. This also gives me an extra probably 20 minute long video. So because I wasn't intending to cut it here, there's really no end. Um, but I will go to a clip that I think is pretty funny. It's completely out of context. Uh, and there are in fact spoilers for the next episode in this one. But because I have more stuff that needs to go into the next one than into this one, this, this is what's happening. So um, enjoy my last clip. I'll see you. When I see you, probably. I am more active on Twitch and TikTok. I have multiple TikToks. They will both be down below. Um, I have a Minecraft Pinterest. Uh, that's kind of fun. Yeah, so you can check that out. It's kind of fun.
That's what I'm plugging. My Pinterest. Go check out my Pinterest. I should put my cosplays on it too, now that I think about it. Okay, bye. Shit, I gotta move this shit around. Where am I supposed to put this pack of water bottles on? What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? Huh?